can now listen live to WEMF Radio on your phone using the TuneIn app. This is the Young Jerks. Yes, it is. Saturdays at 6 p.m. You know who it is. It's uh, Mike Can here with my cohort. 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 Frank Co-host, Capone. Cohort. Frank yeah. Capone. Hello. 617-500-7100 is the number. We're that show that gets into a lot of different issues. And today we want to talk. Uh, we got two or three, four, I think. That we cover. All kinds of stuff to talk about here on EMF. Yeah. WEMF Radio is where we're at. You can check us out on Facebook, facebook.com, backslash, whatever you call it. Forward slash. Forward slash, the young jerks. I like forward slash and better than backslash. And yeah, you know, I think that's... Keep moving forward. Yeah, we're moving forward. <laughs> we're talking about... Uh, speaking of moving forward, we're trying to move forward with uh, medical cannabis in Massachusetts. And I just got the word. We had him on the show two weeks ago with the city councils from Cambridge. The CEO, John Green of Greenway Wellness Foundation... We had him on the show two weeks ago talking about the zoning and the permit and what it's going to take to get Greenway open in Cambridge on his new location in Moody Street. And he called me on Friday and let me know that there's going to be a city hall hearing at uh, Cambridge City Council Monday night, 530. Sullivan Chambers at 795 Mass Ave. Join John Green of Greenway Wellness Foundation. Let's get this dispensary open there's going to be a big story that I'm writing this week on uh, in Dig Boston coming out on Wednesday about uh, again our discussions with the city councilors with with John Green and uh, I'm going to be there on Monday night. I hope other people, other patients, will come out. I think patients definitely will come out. I mean, we've had ca- callers from Cambridge who are clearly patients that had called, and I think are going to be out there in force. And it's a lot of support in the community, and the community needs this. They do need this. We need to open. It's uh, been an extended wait to get these dispensaries open, and it's time to open them. So hopefully uh, our presence will be heard on Monday night, and hopefully everyone does come out. Cambridge City Council hearing to open the medical marijuana dispensary in Cambridge, 795 Mass Ave, Monday night at 5.30 p.m. I will be there. You can call us at 617-500-7100. We are the Young Jerks. Also, uh, speaking of uh, medical cannabis, there's been more news this week. Do you know this about this, bonkers. Frank? Bonkers. Tell them, Mike. It's crazy. A 6.25 tax on medical cannabis sales in Mass has been proposed by Mass State Senator Brian A. Joyce. Uh, Mr. Uh, Senator, State Senator Joyce, he, he, you know, if you read the Boston Herald story, it, it makes no bones about it that he secretly tucked this in to the budget because he didn't want to hear from us. He didn't want input from citizens. He didn't want to hear from uh, organize. He, you know, his quote was, "I don't know if there is any organize, organized opposition." Which right there is bankrupt. To say that statement, if you're an elected official, you should know if there's organized opposition to something that you're proposing. You should have uh, reached out to the community and found out what the community feels. If you don't know there's any organized opposition, you've failed already, Brian A. Joyce, Mass State Senator. You've been up there uh, how many years on Beacon 15. Hill? Like 18 years? Yeah, 15 years 15 this guy's years, been up there. Hasn't helped medical patients one time. Not once has he stepped up. Not once has he talked to a medical patient. And now he wants to tax medicine. And this is, I'm going to continue with his quote. They'll have paid lobbyists and folks fighting and resisting the change, he says. I thought there was no organized opposition. I know. (laughs) And and who are the folks fighting the change, Brian? You know who they are? They're people like me who work for a living, who are medical patients, who are sick of paying outrageous black market prices. And right now, your, your, your program in Massachusetts, administered by your party, the Democratic Party, is failing in Massachusetts. I have no reason why I should even get a medical marijuana uh, uh, recommendation right now as a patient with leadership like this. Well, no, because you're going to end up being worse off than you were just buying it off the black market because the state is going to try to tax a medicine as if they would tax aspirin or if they would tax, you know, Percocet or something that, you know, is an accepted form of medicine, you know. It's just because that it's cannabis that they want to tax it. And they think they can get away with it. And they can't. And they're not, I mean, they're not, but it, I, don't I don't know. know. I think they it, may get away with it. But how is that even, how is that even like, I mean, that, that's not going to last though, right? We'll see. I mean, this is this is awful. You know, I look at it. Uh, there's a lot of resurgence lately in uh, the mafia stories and with Whitey Bulger on trial and uh, the movie being made right down the street here in Cambridge uh, with uh, Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp and, yeah. You know, just 
the, the, I, I, I almost harken back to the old mafia days when the mafia was like a known thing on the street. It's like, you know, at least the mafia would actually do something for you on the front end before they took their vig on the back end. These guys aren't even as good as the mafia. They offered us nothing on the front end, and now they want to take the 6.25 on the back end forever, and if not higher, when they raise that tax again, which well, that's they exactly always do. The point. That's exactly the point, is that it, it, it opens a door that says, okay, well, now we can tax medicine, you know? And, yeah. and so what about when the person who has a kid is you know, sick and they need some cough medicine or something like that, right? You're going to start taxing that too? Like, I know. It's a medicine. Cannabis is medicine. And to tax it is just completely ridiculous. You can't say something's a nonprofit thing protected from you know, state taxes and say, oh, we're going to charge you, the patient, not the business, but the, well, I mean, I guess the, the business in turn, but, you know, the patient, the tax. And, and especially being so tone deaf to patients, because this isn't cough medicine. Cough medicine I can get for 10 bucks at the store. We're talking about an ounce of cannabis that they want to sell for $400 an ounce already. 6% of that's pretty steep. That, that's a lot of money. And the biggest thing I hear from patients is they can't afford it. And myself, like, again, I spent my money on my, my medical cannabis this week, and I'm pretty much out of it already. You know? Yeah. Uh, I just never you never have enough money for it. It's so expensive, and this guy does it. Instead of uh, trying to find ways to help patients to afford it, to be able to get access to it, no, he just wants to add a tax on without even talking to us, without even allowing us to speak, testify, write a letter, an email. It's already been decided. One person decided. His name is Mass State Senator Brian A. Joyce. He's he knows better than you. He knows better than your pain, and I'm really really fed up with it. And I mean, I don't want to go there today because we try to keep it a family program and <laughs> the language. And I will. I, I really, I, the anger inside of me when I read that story in the Herald. We'll, we want to take calls on that today. We'll definitely talk about it. 617-500-7100 if you're a medical patient and you want to talk about any of these stories. Who's calling? Hey, guys. This is Nikki Smoke. How are you? Hey, Nikki. Good. Hello. You listening in today? I am listening. I just... I. Just caught the um, the first five minutes, and I was listening to your show, and how enraged we all are that the medical marijuana is being proposed to be taxed. You can now listen live to WEMF Radio on your phone using the TuneIn app. 